Hey, I wanted to make a quick video on how to repair this Electrolog CS4416. Uh, I was having a problem with the heat on it. The little fireplace animation was working fine, but no heat was coming out of it, and the fan was not turning. So I'm just going to sort of walk through my troubleshooting process of it and wrap it up with what actually fixed it. Um, so on this guy, there's three, or I guess two switches and one knob. Now, the one on the right, this one, or at least according to my video, the right, it would normally be, I don't know, I don't want to put it back together. Anyway, uh, so this is the power for the whole unit. This is power for just the heat, and this is the thermostat. So I s took off the back panel and started doing some continuity checks, just to make sure it wasn't a loose wire or anything. Here's the back of it. Uh, up above are the switch connections, and down below is the thermostat. Uh, I turned the knob and did some continuity checks and some resistance checks with the thermostat, and it seemed to be working fine. So that wasn't it. Uh, then I started tracing the wires back to the bottom of the unit where the heater is. Uh, it looked, it was really weird because I have my little uh, Fluke AC uh, wireless checker and it looked like the heater was receiving power. It looked like the fan was receiving power. Uh, we've got this, I was trying to track down to see if there was a fuse of any kind and I couldn't find one. There's this little guy right here, but that's a safety capacitor, not a fuse. Um, so anyway, I was just looking around, looking around, and what I noticed is when I would turn it on, the heating part of it, the fan would just move slightly and then stop. And then I'd turn it off and I'd turn it back on and it'd move slightly and stop. And I was like, okay, well, maybe the fan motor is out. But then if the fan motor was out, why would that be affecting the heater? Uh, and it it looks like it has pretty good mobility. There was nothing caught in it, nothing to make it stuck. Then started looking around to the front and where the coils are, and I noticed there's this little switch at the bottom. And I'll try to make it a little more visible. There we go. So this switch is basically a heat safety switch on it. If it gets too warm, it bends up and loses the connection to the heating coil and the fan. And if it cools back down, it bends down and makes the connection and then it goes fine. And what that is there for is basically safety if you put clothes or something in front of the heater and it gets way too hot and it can't re reach the thermostat. Uh, it's it's basically a little heat safety thing for the bottom. And it's not really something that you want to bypass, but what I noticed is when I did a little check on the resistance between the two points, it was pretty high resistance. So what I did was I've got... Uh, this is a little file that's specifically for filing... Uh, between two contact points of a relay or this guy or something, but it's it's essentially a really, really thin, very fine file. What I did was I just put it... You can't really see it, and I can't hold the flashlight and the phone and the file, but what, what you do is you essentially slip this file in between the contacts and then rub it back and forth so that way if there's any corrosion on it, it takes it back down to bare metal or bare copper or whatever it's made out of. Um, and then, so I did that for a little bit and plugged it back in. And if you turn the heat back on, it fires right up and heat comes out of it and everything's fine.